If a man succeeds in reaching Mars, it will be one of the greatest milestones in human history. Man's first step on another planet will be one of the greatest golden moments in world history that we can be proud of more than when we landed on the moon. Even though things are like this, the journey to Mars is a very difficult one. There are many challenges that await us in this journey. Not only that, but the danger lurking in this journey is truly terrifying. Let's see what could be the reasons behind making the journey to Mars so terrifying. The first problem is the distance between Earth and Mars. The average distance between Earth and Mars is said to be 225 million kilometers. To put it another way, that is 500 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The distance between Mars and Earth is so great that it would take months for even the most advanced spacecraft to travel to Mars. The best time to go to Mars is the time when the distance between Earth and Mars is the least, and we get this opportunity only once in two years. This shortest possible distance is said to be 55 million kilometers. Between Mars and Earth, at this point, there is an approach gap that lasts only a few weeks. This is a very long distance compared to other space missions as it is a manned journey. Perseverance rover sent by NASA in 2020 reached Mars in seven months. Even at a speed of 39,000 km per hour, it took the Perseverance rover seven months to get there. This means that even the most sophisticated spacecraft would need months to reach Mars. The second reason is launch failure. In Musk's plan to go to Mars, they have planned the biggest rocket ever built by mankind. Basically, any rocket is just a large fuel tank powered by a fuel explosion system that can be controlled for long periods of time. Therefore, its risk is very high. No matter how many safety checks are done beforehand, if the rocket's fuel explosion is damaged by a small defect, it will become out of control. If that happens, there will be no chance of escape for the people traveling in the rocket. We have seen before what happened to NASA's Space Shuttle Columbia in 2003. A small mistake that they ignored during the launch of Columbia turned out to be a huge disaster by the time they returned to land on Earth. But in their starships that SpaceX is building to go to Mars, it is certain that they will use new technologies and inventions that no one has used before. Therefore, we can never say how much the probability of its failure will be. For engineers and scientists who build rockets, it can improve its chances of success. But they will never be able to reduce its risk to zero. Therefore, one of the risks of this mission is a launch failure. A trip to Mars is far longer and more dangerous than any space mission ever undertaken by mankind. If we were to go to Mars with our current technology, it would take us seven months to get there. During the entire journey to Mars, astronauts are exposed to extremely intense radiation from the Sun. During the days of the trip to Mars, a spacecraft would encounter a lot of charged particles from the Sun. Space is not an empty place. It is a place filled with high-energy particles from the Sun and other exploded stars. Any spacecraft would be able to reach Mars only after receiving very high levels of radiation. We live on Earth because the Earth's magnetic field reflects charged particles from the Sun. This is the same devastating danger that travelers to Mars will face once they leave Earth. When NASA sent the Curiosity rover to Mars, they attached an instrument called the Radiation Assessment Detector with it. They designed this instrument to record radiation levels during and after the trip to Mars. This device is on its way to Mars. The radiation readings recorded were shocking. The instrument recorded 100 to 1000 times more radiation than that experienced on Earth. These levels of radiation are extremely dangerous for humans. The radiation shielding of existing spacecraft is not adequate for such long journeys. When taking a CT scan, 10 millisieverts of radiation hits our body. But on a trip to Mars, one would encounter between 500 and 780 millisieverts. Exposure to this type of radiation can be very dangerous to the human body. It can cause cancer of the thyroid gland, lungs, stomach, infertility, and cataracts in the eyes. Protection against this is very important for humans to survive the Mars mission. Now I want to talk about the landing on Mars. 
Even if we manage to successfully approach Mars after seven months of travel after our departure from Earth, landing on Mars is extremely dangerous. It is a very important one. Mars has an atmosphere 100 times thinner than Earth's. Therefore, probes will never be able to land on Mars like they do on Earth. Probes land here by making maximum use of the potential of the Earth's atmospheric friction. But we will never be able to implement this on Mars. The probe had to rely heavily on its own systems to decelerate before landing on the Martian surface. NASA itself is struggling to land even small rovers on Mars. NASA's parachute system used to land the Curiosity rover on Mars is still shocking to us. Curiosity weighed only one ton. According to Musk's plan, the payload will weigh at least 450 tons. Let us now look at a proof of this to understand the severity of the danger of a soft landing on Mars. In 1998, NASA sent a probe called Mars Climate Orbiter to Mars. The Brahmin term for this probe on Mars was 145 kilometers from the planet. But at about 56 kilometers above the Martian surface, the probe was about to burn up. The crash was caused by a minor software problem with the spacecraft's computer. A later investigation proved that the spacecraft crashed because commands sent from Earth to the spacecraft to control its navigation were sent in English units rather than in the metric system. A small carelessness caused the collapse of this probe here. A soft landing to Mars is very complex and if not done very precisely, the probe could lose its route in space, or crash in the Martian atmosphere before reaching its destination, etc. Therefore, any small miscalculations made during the soft landing could lead to a major disaster. Besides, space exploration is a very expensive endeavor. Building and launching spaceships require a lot of funding. Due to these reasons, reaching Mars is a very difficult task. These are just a few of the major problems that will be faced in the Mars mission.